Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the media file required for this project, you can download them from given link in the description. The complete template is also available on my web store, link is given in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition. I will name this composition as glossy logo. Set time duration to. 7 seconds, remaining everything will be same. Now here we will add our logo. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo, select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect, now let's add the reflection media file to the timeline. Here I will slightly scale this media file. Now for this reflection media file, in effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the reflection media layer. Select mirror edge, now increase output width and height, now make sure you are at start of the timeline, create keyframe for tile center. Now go at end of the timeline, change position for tile center as shown. You can see the preview. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as Reflection Map. Perfect. Place it below Logo Composition. For Reflection Map, change Track Mat to Alpha Mat Logo. For Reflection Composition, in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to the Reflection Composition. For CC Glass, in Surface, change Bump Map to Logo. Property to Alpha. Now let's set softness to 100. Set height to 80. Set displacement map to minus 100. You can see the preview. Now in light. Change light intensity to 250. Perfect. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC blob eyes. Add it to the reflection composition. Now in blowiness, change blob layer to logo. Change property to alpha. Set softness to 10. Set cutaway to 10. Now in light, set light intensity to 250. Now you can see the preview. Perfect, here our silver glossy logo is created. You can change this silver logo to golden glossy logo. Just by adding dry tone effect to new adjustment layer. Or you can watch my any other tutorial about golden glossy logo. Now let's create a new composition. Here I will name it as, logo reveal. This will be our main composition. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline, for this logo composition. In effects and preset, search for Vegas, add it to logo composition. For Vegas, in image contours, change channel to alpha. For segment, set it to 1. Let's set length to 0.25. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for rotation. Now go at 2 seconds. Set rotation to 100. You can see the preview. Let's change blend mode to transparent. Here I will set color to white, you can set any color of your choice. Let's set width to 4. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for 
start opacity, set start opacity to 0. Now go 15 frames forward. Change start opacity to 1. Now press U to view keyframes, now go at 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for start opacity, now go at 2 seconds. Set opacity to 0. Now select start and end keyframe and set keyframe assistant to easy ease. Perfect. Now select rotation keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's set midpoint opacity to minus 0.42. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the logo composition. For glow, set glow radius to 98. Glow intensity to 2. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of this logo composition. Here I will change color. Here we will change length to 1. I will place this composition at distance of 10 frames. You can see the preview. Let's change composition mode to add. You can see the preview. For this glow, set glow radius to 140. Now again create duplicate of this logo composition. Select rectangle tool. Create mask as shown. For mask 1, set mask feather to 50. For Vegas, set hardness to 1. Now in effects and preset, search for Gaussian blur. Add it to the logo composition. Now set blurriness to 70. Set blur dimension to horizontal. You can see the preview. Now again create duplicate. Here I will remove this mask. Now create mask at different place and of different size. Here I will change fill color. You can see the preview. Now again create duplicate. Now again create duplicate. Here I will remove previous mask. Now here you need to create mask as shown. Now for mask 1. At 1 second. Create keyframe for mask path. Now go at 3 seconds. Adjust the position of mask as shown. You can see the preview. Here you can adjust the position of keyframe. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of the logo composition. Now let's remove the Gaussian blur. For this logo layer, I will remove the mask. For Vegas, set width to 3. For glow, set glow radius to 100. Set glow intensity to 1.
Here I will place this composition at 15 frames. Perfect. Now again create duplicate of logo composition. Here I will place this composition at 1 second. Here I will change color for outline. For this logo, for glow, set glow intensity to 0.8. Now again create duplicate. Here I will place this logo composition at 1 second and 10 frames. Here I will change the outline color. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the glossy logo composition to the timeline. Press T to bring up opacity, at 1 second, create keyframe for opacity, at start, set it to, 0%. I will place this composition at 2 seconds. Now select all compositions, pre-compose it. Name it as outline. Here we will place this outline composition at 10 frames. Now let's create duplicate of outline composition. For outline composition, change mode to add. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the outline composition. For box blur, set blur radius to 25. For outline composition, press T to bring up opacity, at near about 1 second and 20 frames, create keyframe for opacity. Set opacity to, 70%. Now at near about 2 second and 20 frames, set opacity to, 0. Perfect. Now again create duplicate. Change blur radius to, 17. Dimension to, vertical. Change mode to normal. Change outline composition to, 3D. For above outline composition, press P to bring up position, position it below as shown. Press R to bring up rotation. Change orientation to 180 degree. Here we will adjust the opacity keyframes. Here we will adjust the first keyframe position. Place it at 1 second and 10 frames. Set first keyframe to 50%. Place end keyframe at 4 seconds. Set opacity to, 20%. At near about 5 seconds and 15 frames, set opacity to, 0%. Here you can see the preview. Here we will place the above composition at near about 10 to 15 frames forward. Perfect. Now let's create a new camera. Now create a null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position. At 1 second. Create keyframe for position. Now at near about 3 seconds. Create keyframe, for first keyframe, increase the position value as shown. You can see the preview. Select keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now from project panel, add the particles media file to the timeline. Change mode to add.
Now let's create a new adjustment layer. Now in effects and preset, search for noise, add it to the adjustment layer, for noise, set amount of noise to, 10%. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. Place it below. Now in effects and preset. Search for gradient tram, add it to the background, now set the color of your choice for the background. Now let's create a new solid. I will name it as frame. Now double click on the rectangle tool to create mask. Let's change the path, change unit to, percent of source, set top to, 10%, set bottom to, 90%. Now at near about 1 second and 15 frames. Create keyframe for mask path. Now at start of the timer line, change path, set top to, 50%, set bottom to, 50%. Select inverted. You can see the preview. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to, easy ease. Now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our outline logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial, see you next week with another awesome tutorial.